Alright, so here's the tutorial on how to get this nice little eye glow on CapCut. So in this tutorial, we're gonna turn this very basic clip into this more intense one. Alright, so let's get started. Alright, so first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna open CapCut. Make sure your clip is ready. You're gonna see it's very simple, very straightforward, honestly. So the first thing we need to do is we need to cut out the eyes out of the panel. So we're gonna click on Cutout. Then we're gonna click on Customize Cutout. And you're gonna click on the brush and you're gonna brush the eyes. So you just put the red into the eyes. And we're gonna do this for both of them. So right now I'm just adjusting a few things to make sure everything is good. And once you're done, it should look like this. So as you can see, we can only see the eyes of the character. This is completely completely normal. So now we're gonna click on the plus, we're gonna add the original clip as the main clip, and we're gonna put the eyes as an overlay. So we're gonna click on the eyes, and we're gonna click on blend, we're gonna click on overlay. After that, we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna search edge glow. So we're gonna apply it to the right clip. We're gonna click on adjust. We're gonna put it to 100. So next up, we're gonna put some blur. So we're gonna go to the opening closing category and we're gonna click on the psychedelic blur. We're gonna click on object. We're gonna apply it to the right clip. Then we're gonna click on adjust. We're gonna put the intensity to 100, the blur to 100, the glow to 100 as well, and the speed to zero. And then we're gonna copy it two more times. So we're gonna have three of them. Also, I forgot to mention, I think you need CapCut Pro to use this psychedelic blur so if you don't have CapCut Pro you can just use the regular blur as well so next up we're gonna make the clip a lot more darker so that the eye stands out a lot more so we're gonna go to the adjust settings we're gonna put the brightness around minus 10 minus 15 we're gonna put the contrast to around 50 we're gonna put the exposure to around minus 50 and the sharpness to around 100 so the next step is very important we're gonna remove all of the colors except blue so we're gonna go to the HSL and we're gonna put the saturation to minus 100 100. And we're gonna do this for each color except blue. This is gonna remove the colors. So next up, we're gonna click on graphs and we're gonna make the clip a lot more darker. So we're gonna create a color graph and we're gonna bring it around the bottom right corner. But you can just play around until you get a good result, just like I'm doing. So once you're done, we're gonna go back and now I'm gonna show you how to do the flicker effect. So we're gonna put a bunch of keyframes in and then you're gonna skip a keyframe and then you're gonna put the opacity around 65 and you're gonna do the exact same thing over and over again so you skip a keyframe you put opacity 65 and then over and over again this is gonna create this nice little flicker effect so the eye glow is pretty much over at this point but personally i'm gonna add some extra overlays to the clips so we're gonna add this blue lens flare right here so we're gonna click on blend and then we're gonna click on overlay and then you can pretty much adjust it however you want and we're gonna lower the opacity a little bit this is gonna put a nice little blue color to the clip next up i'm adding some flash blue lens flares so we're gonna click on blend and then we're gonna click on dodge and then you can adjust it however you want so once you're done you can export the project and here is the final result so this is before and this is after so next video is probably going to be on how to get cool shakes on CapCut. so if you're interested feel free to subscribe to the channel and on that note i'll see you guys into the next video stay safe y'all